We're going to do imaging on the mastoids and we're going to start with the modified laws for the mastoid. First you want to start out with your head lateral. Act like you're doing a lateral cranium. Check your IOML, make sure it's coming out straight at you, which would be parallel with your image receptor. Also, you want to have a 15 degree caudal angle. And then you want to turn the face down approximately 15 degrees. So once you have those two 15 degree angles taken care of, your, your central ray is going to enter two inches above the EAM, two inches behind the EAM. So this is our mastoid for the, the right side, and you can just collimate down to that. Since this is our right side down, we want to put our right marker on there, or you can put your right marker on the image receptor. Just be sure you don't place the marker on the edges. You want to move it in since you're collimating so tight. All right, next we're going to do the stempers. And with the stempers, you're going to have a 12 degree cephalic angle. And I like to check the head and make sure it's nice and straight. And we're going to actually turn the head 45 degrees, so that's about halfway. If you're not sure about your angles, you can get a protractor and, and set it for 45 degrees. You can mark your mid-sagittal with a pencil and then just hold it into place and then put your protractor right up against it to make sure you are at a 45 degree angle. Okay, now I'm going to bring, I'm going to check the infraorbital meatal line to make sure that is vertical and, and when you're doing the mastoid position with the stenvers, you're going to have the, the orbit, the cheek and the nose touching on the table. Now I'm going to come three to four inches behind the EAM and then I'm going to go one half inch below that. Okay. And collimate tight again for this. Because it is the right side that's down, we're going to place our right marker in the outer corner there. Alright, now if your patient cannot be in a prone position, you can do the uh, reverse timbers, which is known as an arcelin. And with the arcelin method, you're going to angle your tube 10 degrees caudal. And I like to check out, check the head, make sure that the mid-sagittal line, the head is up straight, the head's not rotated. And then you're going to do a 45 degree turn of the head. And again, if you want to check to see where your mid-sagittal is, you can get a pencil, set your protractor down, and make sure that the two of those coincide. Okay, now with the arcelin, I'm going to come above the EAM about an inch and then go and you do want to collimate tight for this as well and on the arcelin, the side that you're going for is going to be farther from the image receptor. So. We're going for that right side. So again, you can place your marker on the corner edge of the light or you can place it down onto the table. This is the arcelin method for the mastoid. Okay.